Hello and welcome to Mead Week. I'm Brian Spam. On this edition, flu shots are still available. Youth spring sports registration is underway. Fort Meade Marines get a lift. These stories and more. But first, the Fort Meade USO and USO Metro of Washington, D.C. welcome dozens of guests and VIPs to this week's grand opening of Fort Meade's new USO Center. Installation Commander Colonel Ed Rothstein, General Keith Alexander, Commander of U.S. Cyber Command, Major General Michael Innington, Commander of the Military District of Washington, and USO Metro President Elaine Rogers joined special guests Stephanie McMahon and David Otunga from World Wrestling Entertainment for the ceremonial ribbon cutting. The center at the corner of Mapes and Six Armored Cavalry Roads is in the perfect location. Right on the bottom of the hill of our AIT barracks uh, for the Dinfo Schoolhouse. The ability from the Freedom Center barracks to walk to the USO. We are very centrally located right where we are. And in the very near future, a shop bed being built right across from Mapes. So that's just going to be another tie-in to our great community. General Keith Alexander, commander of U.S. Cyber Command, talked about the role the USO plays in service members' lives. Many of you may have read in the newspapers about the suicide rates and the, and the problems our, our troops face. And it, it is a problem that we all have to address, and I think the military is addressing it, but we can't do it by ourselves. How do we take care of the troops and let them know that we care? That's what the USO does. That's what you do. That's what they need, and that's what we really thank you for. Because they have a place to go that brings them back to home, that reminds them that there are people out there when they're alone and they're tired that really care for them. That's what the USO does. The highlight of the event, probably the presence of World Wrestling Entertainment's Stephanie McMahon and David Otonga. McMahon, WWE's Executive Vice President, is also on the USO's National Board of Directors. She made a special presentation to the Fort Meade community. The WWE is definitely a champion of the USO, and we believe that our support of our men and women in uniform is of utmost importance. It's a cause that for years we at WWE continue to support. After hearing the story from Elaine about how this center came to be, we determined that Team Meade is a champion by the commitment, dedication, and passion they exude for the USO. WWE superstar David Otunga and I would like to crown Team Meade with this championship belt, which as you can see, is presented to the soldiers of Fort Meade in 2013. The WWE representative stayed at the conclusion of the ceremony for an autograph session. WWE champ. We need to go ahead and push. Future champ? Hey, you got to. Hey, I think it's he's right. It's time. I mean, th this man right here knows what he's talking about. <laughs> yeah. You'd be killing me when you do the Atlantis poses, man. I'd be knocking down, man. Thank you. Once again, the new Fort Meade USO Center is open for business at the corner of Mapes and Sixth Armored Cavalry Road. Volunteers are always needed. In other news across the country, this year's flu season has already been a harsh one. The Center for Disease Control says it's still not too late to get your flu vaccination. Officials at Kimbrough Ambulatory Care Center say they have enough flu vaccine for its enrolled TRICARE beneficiaries and DOD civilians. There's an express flu clinic now available at the immunization clinic during regular clinic hours. Over-the-counter cold packs for adults and children are also available to TRICARE beneficiaries at the Kimbrough Pharmacy. Elsewhere, Marines from Fort Meade's Cryptological Support Battalion train regularly at Quantico, Virginia, and usually it takes about two hours to get there in rush hour traffic. But recently, Fort Meade Marines caught a break and a ride with Marine Helicopter Squadron 1. The helicopters usually carry VIPs, including the President. Marine Captain Dan Gaynor says it's a great opportunity. It's a pretty rare opportunity to be able to do it, so it was, it was great to be able to get down there uh, and see something that, that even not even a lot of people within the Marine Corps get to see. Besides the perk of reducing their commute time from two hours to 25 minutes, the flight also serves as training. Marines don't get much opportunity to, uh, to fly, and uh, especially when you're deployed or on, uh, on a MU, you're going to fly a lot, so it was nice to uh, get this opportunity to get them in an aircraft and fly down there. Finally, a reminder from DFMWR on Child, Youth, and School Services, spring sports registration is underway. Spring sports include soccer, baseball, basketball, track, and indoor football. CYSS Sports is open to youth of active duty, retired military, DOD civilians, and NSA personnel and contractors. If your child is already registered, you can register for spring sports online. If you've never signed up for youth sports, then you'll need to stop by Central Registration at 1900 Reese Road. They're open Monday through Friday from 730 to 5. 
And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week.